Do your lats look like they kind of stop about halfway, coming out from here to here and that's it? Well guys, anatomically they should come all the way down to your hips. I'm going to show you five exercises here today that are going to help you to make sure that you develop the lat all the way from the top, all the way to the very bottom. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteNext.com. So do you have one of those lats that kind of comes right to about here? Do you think that maybe anatomically you're somehow different? You got dealt the lat that only comes halfway? I'm going to ease your mind and tell you that that's not the case. They all come down to your hip. But whether or not you see the full length of that lat, whether you get that full sweep, is determined by the exercises you're doing and more importantly how you're doing the exercises you're doing. I have five exercises here today. I'm going to show you how to do each of them to fully develop the lat and make sure that you're not one of those guys that's looking like a half ladder. All right, so right off the bat when you're trying to develop that lat all the way down to the bottom, you should be focusing on getting a peak contraction of the lat. And to do this, you've got to get peak adduction of the arm. If you look at the first exercise I'm going to show you here, the dumbbell tripod row, I'm not letting my elbow flail away from my body into what we call abduction. Because the more I do that, the more I shift the load to the muscles of the upper back. Instead, I want to get that elbow and get it as close to my side as I possibly can and then initiate the row. And that's where this exercise becomes so effective. All right, so to do the tripod version here, what you do is you have one hand up on the back of a bench and most importantly, both feet on the floor. Rather than putting one knee up on a bench and one hand on the bench, which is actually an exercise that's prone to causing hernias. We've talked about it in other videos before. And what I'm going to do though, instead of having that overhand grip or even a neutral grip, I want to go underhand for the reasons we talked about that I can get that elbow much tighter to the side because of the supinated grip. And by getting it tight to the side, I can feel a much tighter contraction here of the lats, which is exactly what we want. To get that real tight squeeze, keep the elbow as tight to the side, which requires that switch up of the grip. Sticking with the idea of getting those hands underneath and changing that grip around, we could also do the same thing here on a lat pull down to reinforce the same effect that we're looking for to really get into that lower lat. But rather than start in narrow like a lot of us do, which tends to start narrow but then drift away as we go down, the elbows away from the side, what we could do is we can start wide, which gives us no point but to go from wide to narrow as we drive the elbows down and in. Again, the key here is to figure out how to get your elbows from a point away from your body and then get them down behind your body in full contraction as close and as tight to your side as you can. So if you dig those elbows in, you're going to feel that really tight squeeze, not just halfway, but all the way down to your waist. A little bonus action here for you guys. If you're looking for an awesome overhanded version of it, do the rocking pull down. That's something I showed you before. It's an amazing way to not just get the elbow in tight to the side, but because of the rotation on the way down, you get to get a little bit more extension of the arm to get that extra squeeze on the lat to really get a good contraction. Now, if ever there was a lat exercise that did for the lats what the face pull does for the rest of your body, this would be it, the one arm high cable row. And the reason for it is because the exercise is pretty damn near perfect in that it gives you that excursion of the elbow all the way out in front of your body and also gives you that height differential from a position way up out in front of you to down all the way next to your hip. So you can see if we do this right guys, you're going to not only get that big long sweep reinforced from it, but we're also going to get that differential in the elbow position that we don't get from a straight up pull down above our head that we get from this exercise that pulls us out away from the body. So to perform it properly, you want your feet placed wide apart here on the floor and you want to drop this hip back because when you get that arm out in front, you're creating all that stretch in the lat. So as you drive that elbow down, it's very easy to keep it really close and tight to your side and literally target that hip point right here with your elbow. Try to touch the elbow down to the hip with a little bit of that rotation that this exercise provides. So it's an unbelievable exercise option for really feeling what it is here I'm talking about. So it's not often that it's worth it to pull an incline bench over to a pulley machine, but this is one of them. 
The incline single arm lat stretch pull down gives you a great opportunity to get that full range of motion and get that stretch and more importantly that peak contraction on the lat if you do it right. So what you want to do is you want to set the bench up here at about a 45 degree angle and then lay on one side with both of the feet and legs sort of favored towards that side so that when I let the arm go up over the body, I get that intense stretch on the lats because I have my arm up all the way, but more importantly, I get the extra rotation because my hips are rotated this way while my upper body and torso sort of rotated back. From here though, the most important thing is I've got that clear line to drive this elbow right down towards that hip to really feel that intense contraction in the lat. And then getting right back up into that stretch again with that clear line again to be able to really drive, squeeze, and try to touch that elbow right into the hip. And last but not least, exercise number five. They say the fastest way to get from point A to point B is a straight line. There's no straighter way to get from point A to point B than with the straight arm push down. But rather than performing the exercise as the traditional two arm variation here, that actually stops the amount of extension and adduction you can get with the arm because that bar tends to hit your thighs, we can do what I like to do here and that is to just simply do it one arm at a time. And what you get is additional contraction. Why? Because when I get squared up here and I get ready to do the push down, normally I would again encounter that thigh and get stuck, but because I have a free hand here that's not encumbered by the bar, I can actually go back and through the body and behind it to get more of that adduction, a little more extension to really fire up the lat and more so to get that elbow even further down right towards that hip right behind me. I can get a little bit more approximation of those two points which in the end is going to create a lot more of an intense contraction. So there you have it guys, five exercises that you can use for your lats to get that full sweep in. What is that? Oh, a siren? Right. No, it's a timer to keep me honest. You should try it, man. All right, so Jesse's Cliff Notes, what's covering uh, 15 seconds, what took you three hours to shoot. So let's start. It's all about the lat sweep. Get your elbow up all the way down back to your hip. Uh, first exercise, the underhand tripod row. It's good for your lats, better for your balls. Or is that reverse? For your balls? Yeah, no hernias, remember? Also, if I had known that geometry was going to be important in terms of angles and such, then I probably wouldn't have flunked it in high school. Second exercise, the wide grip underhand pull down. Get wide, down and in. It's easy to reinforce. Also, the rocking version, it rocks. Um, next, the one arm high cable row, which is like the face pull for your lats. The, it's not a face pull. I know, I so, said like. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, did I offend you this time? No, you're good. Okay. Uh, then you have the incline single arm stretch pull down, which I'm still sore from when you put it on Instagram the first time. That one hurts. And last but not least, the single arm straight arm push down. Don't let the bar get in the way. Use the cable, get your hands back behind your body. And you know, if you don't get it by now that you've got to get your elbows back and your hands back, then there's no hope for you. I get it. I've had 19 concussions and it takes me a thousand Really? Things. Nobody would ever know. That's mean. Here. Okay. <laughs> do you remember to leave? You want me out? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember? It's like what we do every time you come in. Guys, look, it matters, as he said, angles matter, the way you do exercises matter, all the exercises that you choose matter. If you're looking for a program where we put that and we lay it all out step by step, you can find them over at athletenext.com. If you haven't already done so, guys, make sure you click subscribe and turn your notifications so you never miss a video, and also let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below. I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys, see you soon.